So your focus in this lesson is going to be adding and subtracting expressions. And so there are five steps that I want you to write down on your notes page. Number one is in a different color because today we're going to set that step aside. But I'm going to have you write it down because tomorrow we're going to add this step. If multiplication use the distributive property. So we're going to write that down as step one, um, but you're not going to see that one as much today in the first part of the lesson. The second step is, like we've normally been doing with expressions, change to all addition problems. We don't want any subtraction. So you're going to remind yourself of KFC. But then I want to add, remember the ghost one. We're going to look at some examples where you are going to need that. The ghost one and distribute. So write them in your notes and that will make sense when we apply to our example problems. The third step is reorder. So make sure the variable term is first and then the constant. Step four line up vertically, and step five, add the like terms. All right, let's put these steps um, to our examples and see just how they work. In our first example, remember our goal is adding or subtracting expressions, so we have two expressions here that we are adding. Step one says to change to all uh, change all subtraction to addition. So let's start there. I'm going to go in here. I have one subtraction, so I'm going to add the opposite. The next step says to reorder. So I want to make sure that my variable term is first and then my constant, and in both of these cases they are, so I don't have to worry about that. Then it says to line up the problem vertically. So what that means is I'm going to go like this n and a negative 2 plus, and I'm going to take this expression and line it up, 3n's and a positive 8. So I combine my like terms. I have 1n here and 3n's here. That means I will have 4n's and I have a negative 2 and a positive 8. So I have different signs. I find the difference. So my final answer is 4n plus 6. Let's take a look at another example. Make sure you have all the steps shown on your notes page. In the next problem, here are two expressions. We have 5a and 6 minus a negative a and 6. So remember that in the first step, we want to change any subtraction to addition. So since I am subtracting the two expressions, I am going to change this. Now, this is where that ghost one comes in. If I have subtract, and then I have these parentheses, I'm going to get that ghost one, because if I KFC and keep flip change, I don't have anything to change, so I'm going to put that ghost one in there to help. So I add the opposite. So now I'm adding a negative 1, which means I have to distribute that. So that's going to come in here, and I'm going to distribute that negative 1 times a negative 8 and times 6. So that is going to look like negative 1 times negative 8 going to be a positive 8, and negative 1 times 6 is going to be a negative 6. So now my new problem looks like this, 5a and 6 plus a and a negative 6. The next step says to make sure they're in order, I've got my variable term first and then my constant in both, so I don't have to worry about that. So then I line them up, 5a and 6 plus a and a negative 6. Combining my like terms, I have 5a's and 1a. That means I have 6a's. And then I have 6 minus 6, which means I would have nothing. So I have no constant. My final answer is simply 6a. 
In my third example, I have negative 4y plus 3 plus negative 5 plus 11y. First, change to all subtraction. Well, I have all addition, so I'm okay there. Next, it says reorder the variables. Here, I have the variable term first and the constant, but here, I have to reorder these. So this is going to become 11y plus a negative 5. This side stays the same, so I'm just going to bring it down. And so now my problem is written correctly. The next step is line up vertically. So I have negative 4y and 3 plus 11y and a negative 5. So, in working with this problem, I have a negative 4y's and 11y's. Different signs means find the difference, so that's 7y's. And 3 and a negative 5 means that I'm going to find the difference, again, because I have different signs, and that will be a negative 2. Remember that we rewrite this without parentheses, so 7y minus 2 would be my final answer. In my very last example, I have a negative 3 in m minus a negative m plus 12. So here you'll see I am subtracting in the expressions. So I'm going to get that ghost 1 back in there. So anytime I'm subtracting an expression, I'm just going to put that ghost 1 in there so that when I add the opposite, I have something to change to the opposite. Then I want to get that negative 1 out of the way, so I'm going to distribute that into my expression. A negative 1 times a negative m is a positive m. A negative 1 times a positive 12 is a negative 12. And I bring this down, negative 3 plus m. My next step on my list says to make sure that I have my variable term first and then my constant. I'm okay here, but here I have to switch this. So instead of negative 3 plus m, I have m plus a negative 3. Next, I'm going to line them up. So m plus a negative 3 and m plus a negative 12. So I have 1m plus 1m, that means there are 2m's, and negative 3 plus negative 12, same signs, add, so that will give me a negative 15. And then because I want it simplified, I want no parentheses, so I'm going to rewrite this as 2m minus 15. Make sure that you have all five steps shown and make sure that you have all examples complete.